Most watched national newscast, Global National, with Kevin Newman. Hello there, thank you for joining us. It was the video that led police forces everywhere to defend their use of tasers. But what has been less examined was the treatment Robert Jerkansky's family endured in the investigation of his death. This weekend, his remains were finally buried in his native Poland, and the obvious emotion of that has rekindled the anger of his friends and family. Global BC's Ted Czernecki is in the Polish town where Zierkanski has been laid to rest. Ted? Well, Kevin, for the first time, we're hearing some of the details about that RCMP team who came here to Poland in April this year. They interviewed several people close to Robert Czernecki, and as one of them told us today, that interview was an ordeal. Gliwice, Poland was quickly added to an RCMP itinerary soon after Robert Czekanski was tasered and later died. He lived here before departing for Vancouver last October. In April this year, an RCMP team was here interviewing several people, including this woman. She says it was the kind of questions that struck her as odd. She says everything that had to do with Robert, pretty much his whole life. What kind of person was he? Was he a drinker, drug user? Was he aggressive? Most questions were to expose him as not a nice human being, not to find out what kind of a person he really was. The RCMP may have thought questions about drugs and alcohol were necessary given the bizarre behavior Jakanski was displaying at Vancouver International before police were called. The interviews took place here at the prosecutor's office. She says in her case there were two Canadian members of the RCMP asking questions that went on for more than three hours. She says she was so exhausted by the end of it that to this day she holds a very low opinion of the RCMP. I told them exactly how I felt after three hours of interrogation in front of a camera. I have very negative feelings towards the Canadian police. I'm appalled by everything, including the fact that the policeman was not able to look me straight in the eye. Even he was a bad man. It's not connected to what happened at, at, at the airport. Repeated calls to the RCMP in Ottawa late today were not returned. And Kevin, this friend of Jakanski says this whole experience with the RCMP has left her bitter and confused as to why they were asking so many negative questions so many times about her lifelong friend. Kevin?